Hi, Joshua Carr here. I um, want to answer a question that I've gotten a few times. People have come to me and said, hey, I built an Excel model and I want to link it up to uh, publicly available information, like say what treasury rates are, uh, how can I have a model linked up to what today's rates are so that when rates change, my model um, updates basically. So to do this, uh, first off, I'm going to build a couple tabs here. I'm going to have a tab where the data will come into, and I'll call this uh, data from the internet. And then I'm going to build a very simple loan calc, like, okay, I'm borrowing. Just zoom in a little here. Borrow, say, a million bucks, and I don't know, you know, the rates. 5%, the N per is 25 years, the F D is zero, therefore the annual payment is, you know, rate N per PV FV. Okay, simple enough. And yeah, I'm building like the world's dumbest, you know, payment calculation, but just bear with me for a moment. So how do I link this to the internet? I go to data from the internet, I go up to the data tab and there's this section called get and transform data. Sometimes people refer to it as power query because that's what it used to be called, but now it's called get and transform data. Uh, they'll probably change the name again because Microsoft likes to do that. I go to get data, or actually I go to, sorry, from web because that's where I want to pull it from. And it's going to say uh, we're on the internet. And in this case, I already previously got this link here, and this is going to daily treasury yield curve. I go back here, and I paste it. Uh, I could do a basic link. For now, I'll do a basic link, though we can get all kinds of fancy with it if I press advanced, but for now, I'll just do basic. I'll press OK, and then Excel goes to work and says I'm going there, and I see the page, and I see that there is a table of information Excel is pretty smart. If it sees a table, it says that's probably what you want. If you're not sure if that's what you want, if I press web view, it'll show you like the web. But if I go to table, there it is. Now, there are a bunch of things I could do here. I could just flat out load it or I can muck around with it. If I press load, it'll just dump the data. If I press transform data, I could go to the data and I could remove some stuff using the Power Query Editor. So for example, if I wanted only the five year, I could be like, well, I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna take these. Now it's only pulling the five year and maybe I want only the last, in from the last row, I'll say remove, you know, top rows or something like that, or better, let me do this, uh, keep the bottom one row. If I do that, it gives me only the bottom row. I will then say, great, that looks beautiful. Let's close and load. It pulls the information. In this case, that's 0.4. Of course, we might need to do a little bit of math to that. Like, for example, when I say 0.4, um, if I just take that and I format that as a percentage, you know, it's gonna get all kinds of messed up here. Uh, and it'll be 40%, we don't want that. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna divide by say 100 and do for some formatting. So it's 0.4%. Um, actually now it made it like six year. Let me redo that. Let me do this over here. And I'll say, I'll link that to this divided by 100, I'll take it, I'll format it, I'll link this to that, I'll format it, and get rid of that sheet called data from the internet because we don't need that. And there you go. Uh, we now basically have something that goes on the internet, pulls this information, goes here, takes it, divides it by 100, so pulls the data from the table, 
and feeds it into a pre-existing model. Now, the fun thing is how do we update it? Well, now the linkage is set up. So now, you know, I could save the file and call it whatever I want to call it. But the fun part is that if tomorrow I go back to data and I go to queries and connections, it'll see that there's this query where it's going to, as you can see, it says here, um, I went to the date five year, that's what it kept. Uh, it, la it was last refreshed today, basically two minutes ago, it shows where it was pulling it from. If I wanted to refresh that, if I basically press refresh all, it'll again, go to the internet, load the data, and now it's saying, as you can see here, last refreshed 430. So if I come back tomorrow, it'll always go to the last row of whatever it sees at this web address. At this web address, it'll go to the last row and it'll always pull whatever it sees in this position, the last row in the column whose name is five year, and then it would update this model. Um, it works, um, you know, it's easy to break. I mean, if the treasury department decides that they wanna change the name of the page where they have the data, it'll break. Uh, if you wanna mess around with it, uh, there's nothing stopping you from going back here and reopening this little guy here. And I could always edit in Power Query Editor. Um, there's a whole language here where you can modify how it takes the information and plays with it. Uh, that's not standard Excel formula language. That's M language, which is a language that's used in Power Query. Uh, so as if it wasn't bad enough to learn how to use Excel, there's like a whole other language you gotta learn. Um, but the basic point here is uh, you could take a model and you can link your model to things on the internet. Uh, and that's fun. This is a simple example. Uh, if this is the kind of thing that makes you happy, um, you could always check out my website at carrealestate.com or email me at josh at carrealestate.com. And I'm constantly putting little videos like this together for people who are into this sort of stuff. Okay, neat. Hopefully you found that useful. That's your, your daily bit of Excel joy. Excellent.